Buongiorno, furry friends. Welcome back to the Furry Italian Odyssey. I'm your host, Jenny Darnell. And today's episode is going to be positively delightful. We're diving into the wild world of house training our lovable football Coco. Yep, that's right. We are talking about the fine art of teaching our field babies where to do their business and, of course, how to keep them entertained. No, Coco joined our pack when he was just a sprightly four months old. This is a crucial time, folks. The formulative period where our pup learns about everything from social order to where to toilet. We turn to the wisdom of Mark Vett and his three fantastic host training methods. But before we delve into those, let me share a bit about Coco Stan. You see, wild dogs might not have houses but they do have dance. For Coco, our Porsche at our back door becomes his heaven. It's like his own personal wolf cave. And now Mark Vett's first method involves using a substrate like puppy pad or newspaper in a small fence area, what he calls a puppy pen. The floor in this pen becomes Coco's canvas for the first two weeks cover entirely in newspaper or puppy pen. Gradually, we shrink that pepper area down to one corner, teaching Coco the correct surface to do his business. Method number two is scrap training, a trick that taps into our pups instinct not to soil their nest. We create a cozy little crab, and voila! Coco naturally learns to hold on until we let him out. It's like having a little cannon magician who only reveals his trick outside. <laughs> the pick and drop method, or method number three, is as simple as it gets. You put the pup outside whenever nature calls, after meals, playtime, or when he's just had a good nap. The idea is to teach him that the only place to go potty is outside, and our home is the cozy nest. But the real magic happens when you combine all three methods. I created a Porsche puppy pen, puppy pets the ground, and provided ready access to a fence area for Coco. Overnight, I created him to teach the art of holding with him. And during the day, I follow the pick and drop routine. Consistency is key, my friends. Consistency. Now, pusset training can be fun. Sometimes I catch Coco midway through toileting inside. No need for panic. Just calmly pick him up, throw him outside, and encourage him to do his business in the desolated crazy spot. It's like a little cannon battle adventure. Oh. Uh-uh. But that's not all, folks. We can't forget about keeping our furry pants entertained. Enter the world of dog activity toys. These interactive wonders provide mental stimulation and physical exercise and help reduce those moments of destructive behavior. Coco's favorite? The Cone Classic. It's a timeless toy made of natural red rubber, perfect for endless chewing and playing. Fill it with treats and watch your pup joy as they walk to get them out. Plus, the unpredictable bouncing adds an extra layer of excitement. Puzzle or dog enrichment toys, as they're known, not only exercise your dog's brain, but can tire them out just as much as good old-fashioned walk. It's like a mental workout for our furry fans. And there you have it, folks, the adventures in house training with Coco on this episode of the Furry Italian Odyssey. Remember, patience and a sprinkle of fun go a long way in shaping our furry companion. Until next time, keep those tails wagging and those paws dancing. Ciao for now! Oh!